good morning out there and a good morning I should say. And we are out here this morning with Chaz, right? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Good How to you see doing? you. you this too. is our gentleman here who is uh, going to be helping us, uh, or I should say he's helping me actually with the uh, balloon business. And you are with, or your name of your company is? Rise and Float Balloon Tours. Now, what are we doing out here this morning that we can find us okay, here? We, we got five balloons with us this morning. We're oh, laying yeah. everything out. We're detaching the banners we have because we're going to be doing some, uh, well, obviously, video work. We don't want to plug something <laughs> we don't have to. Brochures. So we're going to try to fly over Disney Epcot, depending on what. There is no guarantee of that. <laughs> yeah. Mother Nature decides really where we fly. Um, but so that's the first the thing you're going to do is you've got one of these small fans, and you're just going to inflate yeah. the balloon. They'll be cold inflated with all of these little uh, gasoline fans till they're about three quarters full. Okay. Uh, and then they'll you'll hear a loud noise, a long flame a burner, and that'll blast. That'll give the heat. The heat will uh, give the a lift to the balloon mm -hmm. itself and then they'll start lifting up and they'll all be in formation. So thanks we're going to start laying out and we'll see you guys around here and there. Sounds good. Take okay. care now. See you guys later. Alrighty, so uh, stick with us here. We're going to be uh, inflating this and getting things going and then of course we're going to take you up on this balloon this fine morning. Now I also want to mention here before I forget that uh, on the other side of the camera this morning is none other then Orlando good, photographer, good, Mr. Good. Rick Zimmer, who once again is out here on a remote. Right. How are you this morning? Oh, what, what, what? It's time to wake up? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> larger? What's the interior volume of this? Uh, 77,500 cubic feet. Beautiful. They use about 800 yards of fabric. And uh, I just had this balloon built, and it took me about, uh, or it took them about, uh, what, five weeks to build it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now, out here this morning, we've also got others out here who are also inflating. I believe they call it cold inflating. They're just the just fans, and then they'll soon be adding the heat to it. And as I mentioned, Rick Zimmer is here this morning. Hello there, Rick. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. We are getting ready to take off in this thing. To take yeah. off. And you're going to be doing some still photography yeah, along with uh, video and commentary. A little bit early today. We're doing a little bit of brochure work for these folks all around here too today. And, you know, That's I think if i got to get up this early, I'm going to get as much done as possible. <laughs> That's don't want right. to get up too early to have to do this sort of thing. Which is going to be incredible, uh, I think. Now, this is my first balloon ride, as I mentioned, into this little yeah. bitty basket. So, uh... It can be a tight fit, you'll we'll find. Uh, so uh, we're going to be doing all this and getting ready as we take the nightlife show aloft. Oh, yeah. there's somebody aloft already on the distance. Oh yeah, way off in the distance. I don't know if we can see it or not. Let's zoom in there. Somebody else is already up, off in the distance. Isn't that beautiful? What we've also got, which is kind of interesting, is of course everybody holding down the lines out here. Look at this. Everybody is out here holding things down. Let's follow that line right up into the balloon here. Look at that. They are getting huge. You can see by the scale of the trucks. Can't even get them all in in a single shot. Okay. Now we're going to put the heat to it. Taking all the grass and weeds and whatnot off. Of course, it is now straight up. That really didn't take too much. I, no sense in me even trying to get it in there. We are about ready to go. Hey guys, just about ready. We'll go. Here we go. Here we go. Have a good 
one. All right. Yeah. And we're off. Bye, Charles. So long, and here we are. Nice descent. Ascent. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, we're going up. This is good right here. All we need is to stay right here. Uh, kind of we are floating away. Oh, you're snorkeling. Looking for dead bodies, probably. Yeah, it's dragging the lake there. That's... Oh, man is fishing in there. Yeah, there he is. He is fishing, isn't he? I kind of like these experimental motions there. No, was... these aren't experimental. I do this every flight. Oh, uh, <laughs> like I said, it just, it just increases your, you know, gets your pilot ability. Gets your adrenaline going. Gets your adrenaline going through. You're having trouble waking up. You should be awake now. <laughs> well, here we are aloft, obviously. We're... Rick is behind the camera at the moment. And um, how far up are we? Well, I mean, it's not that high, but we're, we're roughly 100 feet, maybe not quite. And uh, we have taken the nightlife show to new heights, obviously. I am, I am really amazed how, you know, I've always heard how calm and how quiet and everything it is. And it just seems like nothing uh, when you're up here. It's just complete floating, easy going. You can see the road down there, little path. Right, this is my altimeter here. This is a, a pyrometer. It tells me how hot my balloon is. I'm a little warm there now. And uh, this is what they call a ball variometer. This tells me if I'm going up or down and the rate of climb or descent. I have two burners. Each line carries uh, fuel to each individual uh, or each tank. Gives uh, yeah, each individual up our trees again, but we're missing them. <laughs> Still within sight of the contemporary somewhere? Yeah. Or? You can see it right over there. Oh, yeah, right You're on the head right for it. Right yep. in there. There you can see the Magic Kingdom over to the left. Hmm. Oh, yeah. there is the contemporary hotel, right square in the middle of the picture. Okay. And the Magic Kingdom is off there to the left, which you can just barely make out in the early morning here. All right, now again, this was what, the main entrance road to Disney? Right. You said down below us there? Mm -hmm. And how high up are we at the moment? About uh, 1,200 feet. Oh, yes, there below us is Epcot. There's the parking lot, which is rather empty so yep. far. We're about 8.20 in the morning right now. There's the monorail. There's that. Mm -hmm. Coming along there this morning. 